Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. Good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. How was your day? Uh, just working and working. <laughs> and working. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. That sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. And when you finish the work, you have to solve more issues or more problems, more problems in your in your house. <laughs> I know, I imagine that. Well, that sounds kind of exciting. <laughs> yes. But now at least you are down in the class, so you can relax here in the class. Yes. That's the idea. <laughs> Very good. Welcome to the class. Let's see. Hello, everyone. Who else? Who else? I can see Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Uh, the same like Kevin. With a <laughs> very busy, a difficult day with... Uh, many troubles at the job but the surviving. traffic right yeah yeah the traffic yeah i was taking the news that there was a lot of traffic everywhere i mean now there is traffic everywhere right not only in san salvador but everywhere so but thanks for being in the class evelyn thanks for the effort so i hope that here in the class you can relax okay I don't want you guys to feel stressful, okay? At least here in the class, I want you to feel relaxed, all right? So I'm going to try to give a very easy topics, easy activities, so you don't feel even more stressed. No, I want you to feel relaxed, okay? Now, welcome everyone, who else is there? Hello, buddies, how are you? I tired, teacher. I tired. Tired too. Yes. I imagine. I. I am. I am asleep. Sleep. I want to sleep. Sleeping. I want. I want to sleep. You want? Oh, you want to sleep? Okay. Sleep. I want to sleep. Yes. I imagine. Yes. I know. I know. And the weather is nice, right? Is it raining in your city, guys, or a little? cloudy or nothing it's cloudy. that's what i can say oh really i thought that it was yes. raining no okay. i had to put my ac on because it's really hot really well yeah. i thought that i mean i was checking the the weather forecast and actually they said that we are in under green alert on the green warning because of <sighs> raining but well, maybe not in every city. Yes. <laughs> now I can see Nelson too. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Uh huh. Hello, Nelson. You're there. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. And how was your day? Mm, relax. My day was mm, very relaxed <laughs> because uh, I'm in I'm in vacation. Ah, that's oh, good. Yeah. I'm that, jealous. That's why you look very <laughs> happy, very relaxed. How long will you be on vacation? Uh, two weeks. Wow. But uh, right now is the last. Oh, and this is the last week. Yes. Uh, during the vacation, I received uh, um, some calls to help uh, in something. <laughs> but You always work. <laughs> yes, but it's, it's a little, uh, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, but at least but at you least. could rest at least a little bit. Yeah. A lot, a lot. <laughs> I I need it. What time do you wake up? 
<risa> eh, mm, eleven. This class. <risa> el, eleven. Oh my yes. God. Okay, sounds good. Well, you save money because you don't do breakfast. <risa> yes, yes. I woke up uh, at nine a.m. No, okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's vacations. Why not? Yes. You deserve it. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, everybody, welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for the ones who has the camera on. It's Wednesday, guys. So officially, we are starting our third week. All right. So imagine time flies, everyone. So this is our third week. Okay, remember this level is going to be like five weeks. So we are already advanced. We are basically in the middle. So guys, let's keep working. Okay, now because we are starting our third week, I just want to remind you guys the platform. I know that I always mention the same, but that's what I need to do. I want to congrats because now I can see uh, more progress, all right? Um, let's check the unit number one. In the unit number one, I can see that, look, the people who haven't worked, now they already worked. I can see very good scores, right? Look, so far so good. Um, Elias is a little bit low, but I think that he can improve. The rest of you guys, so far so good. I like it. Kevin Alfredo is the only one who, mm -mm, I cannot see progress yet, but so far so good. I can see uh, almost everybody already finished the unit number one. Uh, well, Rafael Alexander is missing too. Please, let's start working. And the rest is over. So the rest of you guys, you already finished the unit number one. So that's good, excellent, good job. Now, I just want to remind you that, okay, we need to start, I mean, you need to finish the unit number two, all right? If you see few people have started working in the unit number two, very few people, all right? I can see Amanda with 96, so that's a good progress. Edwin, 85, that's good, but the rest, very low. I can see Salvador, 85, excellent job. Actually, I can see Salvador is working in all the units already. And uh, over here, Pamela, 63, so far so good. And Wilbur with 87, that's great. So few people, has been work has been working um on the unit number two. So guys, we need to work in the unit number two. And remember that in the unit number two, that is the section two, remember guys that you are going to find the mid term. Okay, that is like the first written exam. And uh, let me show you this one is the midterm. Right now, uh Amanda already did the midterm and she got a very good score, very good job. But the rest, look, I cannot see you guys. Salvador already took the exam, 60%. I mean, you can repeat the exam if you want to improve the score. Um, but basically uh, we can say that um, they are the only ones. I can see that Wilbert took the exam with 40%. So you can do the exam again in order to improve your score. So please, everybody, I mean, let's try to advance, okay? Remember in the section two, we have the midterm. And in this moment, honestly, guys, I can see very low progress, okay? Let's start working a little bit faster, okay? I have to update your scores every week. Okay, so today, for example, I'm going to update your scores and imagine <laughs> nobody, uh, well, not everybody has finished the unit number two. Few people have done it. 
Mm, few people have taken the midterm. The rest of you will have zero in the update for this week. So please, let's try to work in the unit number two, all right? And remember guys, next week is the week number four. So we need to start working in the section three and then the week number five and we need to finish the platform, okay? It's not optional, it's an obligation, all right? So, Teacher. Yes? Uh, I have a problem with uh, homework that two that five because i try uh, a lot of times but i can't resolve this exercise sure no problem is 2.5 okay let me open it up 2.5 the second part the yes. second part yeah okay perfect no problem in the second part, I'm going to share with you guys uh, the answers. I know that this part is a little bit confusing. So let me help you with that. Um, okay, I think that this is the one, right? Can you see it? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, in this case, we have to convert the direct questions into the reported speech, okay? And it says that we need to use my neighbor ask me. So that is the way that you have to start your questions. My neighbor ask me how many children, look, how many children, and then remember, is simple present. Simple Let's present. switch it into simple past. Now, as I always mention, sometimes, guys, we need to be careful. The platform is set with a specific answer, right? So in this case, we are going to say, ah, my neighbor asked me how many children I had. So that is the answer. Um, if you see, sometimes the platform asks for the last uh, dot, the last point. And let's try. Let's see if they uh, accept that answer. Uh, let's see, let's see, but I cannot send the answer. Give me a second. If the platform doesn't accept the answer with the dot, well, we can remove it. Oh, but I cannot send the answer. Well, I need to finish all of them maybe. Give me a second, I'm going to try. In this Did case, you... in this case, yes. Yeah, I'm Amanda. I have correct the two of four, but already I I read the the last two mm -hmm. and I have there, but this is like incorrect in platform. Okay, verify. Let's verify. And there is yes, yes, yes is number point. It's number four and five that ah okay have a mistake. All right, let's see, number four, this one, when will I receive my furniture? Okay, my neighbor asked me when I will receive my furniture. This is the answer. Actually, it's correct. Future, will, let's change it for would. So my neighbor asked, oh, what is missing here is me. Don't add me. If you see, it's only oh, my neighbor asked when I will receive my furniture. It's the same in the number three. My neighbor asked. It doesn't include me. And if you see in the previous one, yes, we say ask me. So this is a detail on the platform, right? And yeah, I can consider that this is a mistake in the platform. So in the number three, three and in the number four don't add me okay so you can copy the answer right now if you want copy exactly like it is my Wait, neighbor please. ask mm -hmm. uh, yes. i saw Cifrido lift her lift his hand do you have a question what's a mistake i'm sorry what's a mistake i raised the hand by mistake ah okay no worries 
So this is the way that you have to, that is the detail in the number three and four. And yes. The number three needs to point at the end. That's another one. Exactly, guys. That's why, and believe me, I always report those kind of details. Um, but I imagine that the person who fix these issues, it's, I mean, kind of busy, right? So it's very difficult to verify every single exercise again. So that's why I always share the answers with you because I know that you have been trying, all right? So, you need two points at the, at the end. Exactly. But that <laughs> one is in the number three, all right? Yeah. So if you want, guys, in this moment, or you can take the screenshot or you can open the platform and try to answer that one in order that you can get the correct answer. Okay. Already, it, okay. it, it, it works. Ah, that's great. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, both without me and with the double point. Yes. But remember, double point only in the number three. The number four is good with only one. Okay. okay. Yes. Teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. One more, one more problem in the yes. number five that uh, two, that um, two, maybe I. Uh, uh -huh. In which to uh in the uh preview page all right okay hold on i'm just waiting for everyone to copy this one and i'm going to change the exercise don't worry everybody did you finish done done yes everyone can i move yes okay so uh what is the one Lorena? Uh, two that two. Okay. The same unit, uh, number five. So the 2.2. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a second. Okay, 2.2, two, this one. Hmm. The number five, five. you said. Yes. This one? Yes. Okay, well, let me verify it. Oh, oops. Okay, in the number five, let me try to do it bigger. Can you see what I'm sharing right now? No, teacher. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, that's okay. Yes, can you? Oh. Already, yeah. All right, so in this case, we are talking about what kind of sentences is this? Imperatives. Imperatives. So let's see, he told her, go and lay down. Yes, this is a mistake in the platform because remember that in this case, the correct answer should be a told her to go and lay down. All right. So in this case, guys, the answer that the platform has set is just go and lay down. OK, so, yeah, that's a mistake, too. So in this case, guys, don't add the preposition to. OK, so this is the correct answer. He told her go and lay down. Okay. But we know, right, we know that the correct answer is to to go and lay down. I do apologize for that inconvenience, everyone. So please, every time that you see this kind of exercises with some mistakes, always tell me, okay? I know that I cannot fix it, but I can help you with the answers, all right? Okay, teacher, I can't sleep, try and try and try. <laughs> oh yeah, I imagine. But thanks for the effort. Thank you for trying. That's what I need, guys. All right. Do you have any other? No, uh, 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 I don't understand. Repeat the the flick. Okay. It's we are we are plain. in the exercise two point two. Okay. We are in the unit two. In the exercise two. So two point two. 
2.2. Uh -huh. The mistake is in the sentence number five because the correct answer should be like this. He told her to go and lay down. That should be the correct answer. However, okay. the answer that the platform has set is just this one. Uh, he told her, go and lay down. So in this case, guys, if you want to get the correct answer, just write it exactly as it is. Okay. He told her, go and lay down. But okay. yes, but you know, right? That the, we need to add the preposition too, but this is a detail of the platform. Thank you. You're very welcome. Did you copy it, everyone? Yes? Yes. All right, pretty good. So please, every time, guys, that you find these kind of details, all right, uh, you can let me know so I can try to help you with this. Um, there are some people, again, that they haven't started uh, unit number two. So please, guys, let's start working, all right? Any other question about the platform? Yes, no? Okay, when you work yes. on the platform, please take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp group. Again, maybe I cannot answer so fast, but during the class, we can take the time and verify the exercises with that you have issues with. Got it? Okay. Pretty good. All right, well, let's start. Before continue and starting with the topic that we have for today, I'm going to check attendance. So please, when you listen to your names, say present. Amanda Leonela Zamora. Present. Thank you. Ana Lorena Lobato. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Present. Hey, you look different. <laughs> my hair. Yeah, that's why I, I, I saw, hey, you look different. That's good. <laughs> okay. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay, very good. Eulice Torres Torres. Yeah. Okay, very good. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Jose Siguenza. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraz. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Okay, I think she's listener. Rafael Alexander Serna. Okay, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present. Okay. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's start with the topic that we have for today. Do you remember what we practiced yesterday? Uh-huh. What was the topic from yesterday? Oh my yesterday, gosh. yesterday we saw uh, the review. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the question and simple present report as uh, simple past. Mm -hmm. uh, if the question is uh, 
simple past, report is pretty um, as perfect. And <laughs> the question is uh, the future. Uh -huh. Report is pretty uh, in the future. Uh, we use wool. Very good. I can see you remember the structure. Nice. Exactly. So yesterday we were practicing, right? All the reported speech tenses. We saw that we can report different kind of questions. And also, do you remember the vocabulary that we studied yesterday? Yes? No? A little bit? Hmm. Uh-huh. No, I don't remember. All right, so let's, we're going to review that, okay? So in order that you can remember, can everybody see the presentation? Yes, I can. Yes. 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 Perfect. Yes. All yes. right, so everybody, today is August 23rd, and this is the topic that we are going to study today. Identify issues when online shopping, okay? This is a topic that we have been discussing during this week. And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. And me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, at the end of the class, participants will be able to provide tips about how to make a smart purchase. Thank you. So that is the purpose, OK? To learn, guys, how to make smart purchases. So. Let's review a little bit the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. Let's see, shipping fees. Do you remember, guys? What was that? Mm -hmm. Shipping fees, what is that? Charge uh, for, the, for the transport of your purchase. Good, exactly. That's the one. If you remember, we were talking about it, that sometimes the shipping fees is very expensive, but sometimes it is not. It's going to depend on the kind of product, the location, right? The cost of the product. So the shipping fees can be different in each situation. Then we have inaccurate sizing. What is that? Do you remember? A wrong size. A wrong size. Remember, this is especially when you buy clothes or shoes. You can ask for a large size and you will receive a small one, maybe. Or the opposite. Now, uh, misleading product descriptions what is that lack of information very good and if you see sometimes you can see the description of the product right the product looks different but when you receive it hmm, it is not what you expected and we were talking about some experiences that some of you had so this is a very disappointing situation then payment issues. What is that? Mm -hmm. Payment um, issues. Problems with your credit card on when you're paying. Mm -hmm. Or the wrong the wrong price they charge you. Very good. This is not only guys when your credit card is declined. This is also related with a run price that in the end they charge you more than what the website said and then we have poor packaging what is that mm. uh -huh. mm. when you receive the product in a very <laughs> bad, bad condition exactly so imagine that is very disappointing too. So is it clear the vocabulary, everyone? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
Now, let's see if you remember the other vocabulary that we studied. So don't look at your notebooks, please. Don't look at your notes. So just try to remember. What is the meaning of a reliable seller? Do you remember? Yes, a seller, a seller that you, you can, can trust. trust. <laughs> okay. Yes, a seller you can trust, right? What about fake review? Mm, positive or positive negative, negative feedback. feedback. Uh, written or paid by your friends or sellers. And Yes, are you sure? Yes. Totally. Okay, ratings. Do you remember everyone? Feedback and comments about a third party seller focused on buying experience. Are you sure? Um, yes. <laughs> and the rest of you guys, do you agree with him? Or you don't remember? Hmm. Actually, it is totally correct. Guys, remember the idea of the vocabulary? I know that it's difficult to memorize every single word. So that's why we need to review the vocabulary. Okay, then we have guarantee. What is that? A formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled. Nice, excellent. Then we have faulty. Do you remember? working badly that's the one right the product is not working properly or the product has some imperfections and the last one right skeptical a person that is very difficult to convince Combine. do Combine. you consider guys skeptical person it depends <laughs> on what the topic Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How about, look at this one. Do you think, guys, that the aliens exist? Um, no. <laughs> no. I'm U.S. face, yes. <laughs> so imagine, some of you can say yes, absolutely. Some of you can be mm, a little skeptical, right? Mm, I don't know. Maybe you cannot convince me. Very good. Is it clear, this vocabulary, everyone? Yes? Yes. Only one. Yes. Says yes. And the other ones? Okay. Let's practice, okay? It's time to start. And I want to start this topic with speaking. So we are going to ask and answer some questions using that vocabulary. I know, guys, that some of you might think, teacher, but I, I don't buy online. I don't feel identified with this. Okay, guys, if you don't buy it online, you can make the contrast. Instead of thinking about buying online, think about your experience when you go and buy to the brick and mortar stores. Okay? So if your classmates say, hey, yes, buying online is pretty good, okay. If you don't buy it online, let's give your point of view from the opposite, okay? But I want to everybody participate. I'm going to send these questions on WhatsApp's group and you are going to discuss it with your classmates, okay? So uh, please everybody enter to the breakup rooms, right? I can see some people that sometimes you don't enter, okay? Remember that this is the moment that we have to speak, okay? If you haven't spoken English during your day, well, this is the moment that you can do it, okay? I already sent the questions on WhatsApp's group. Let me open up the groups, give me a second. If you are in a group where your classmates are not participating or they are not talking, let me know so I can switch you to another team. Okay, one moment. Okay, let's go to work. Remember, zero Spanish, please. Let's go.
How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Nelson. Hello, hello. Okay. The teacher is in the group, so we can start. Okay. Uh, have you ever bought something online? I don't I don't use buy online, uh, but when it's just uh, food on delivery, that's the one. I like to buy online because I think it's more comfortable and uh, it's uh, at this time when we are uh, always in a rush is a, a good option so I, I I like to buy uh, anything like food or clothes or whatever I agree with you. I like to buy online something um, that um, uh, could be I need um, or do something or uh, buy uh, food. It's nice because it's easy. The Some um, platforms are friendly. Uh, only you you need to choose the product and click and purchase now and it's it's all it's simple yes and you don't need to to do a line or we are or or being a crowd of people Uh, did you read some reviews before buying your product service? Yes, in my case, uh, personally, I check the reviews. Uh, if the product, uh, mm, I, I don't know, is correct, attract me, uh, I check the reviews and the uh, comment good or bad comments to to uh, decide if I purchase or not. Me too, I always start reading the bad reviews because they tell me if if convince me or, or they tell me if it's a good idea or not to buy that thing. Yes, because of uh, the material, the of quality, the, size, yes. the quality of the product. Yes, it's it's important. Uh, this um, step for purchase online. How about you guys, Kevin and Wilbur? Uh, what question we are we are answered? <laughs> uh, number two. Uh, did you read some reviews before buying your products? Uh, yes, I do all the time because um, if you don't do it, maybe you're you're gonna have a really bad experience with your bar, with your with your with your product or with the seller like me when I bought uh, something on a Chinese website and didn't check. <laughs> The reviews or the the score that the seller has or it, my product never arrives <laughs> things like that yeah wilbur oh wilbur no i, I don't yeah. use uh, buy online but uh, as far as i can hear uh, i can see uh, they are useful Yes. But it but it not got me my my attention yet. You read some reviews before buying your product services. 
were they useful? Okay, in my case, it, it depends uh, what I'm buying because is it if it is it is close, um, I would like to uh, read the reviews because I don't know the size I couldn't could not fit into the uh, right size. I don't know. And um, I think sometimes it's useful to to read those reviews to get a a a to buy something that will be um right. Okay. Uh, in my case, I'm yes, I read the the review the before after well sorry after before the, the the buy because it's important the the conditional the upper the the operating the company um the product i buy is necessary identify the character the characteristic and price and offer and the conditional the the offer is important review the the mm, the shopping right yes and you see Frida um, to be honest um, my shopping a lot of time ago something on the internet and I read carefully the the reviews. And see, it's a good offer, but I have to say it's a scam. So um, I stopped to buy in. <laughs> but since pandemics, I start to look in again, um, see some reviews um, from customers, and definitely, definitely, some of review was very useful. For example, is your buying clothes? Probably is not the size you are looking for. For example, you're looking for a size M. And you think it's the correct size M, but is bigger or is smaller than you think. Yes, okay. that's it. And I think we can move to the third one on did the provider offer a guarantee warranty in case you were not satisfied with the product? With the product. Mm. In this case, the, the pizza, maybe once in my, in my the house, my mother. Okay. Maybe yeah, a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't the, pay for the pizza; it was free. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't pay the pizza. Uh, the 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 late late time mm -hmm. forty forty five minutes, I think. <laughs> and you, Edwin. So, um, I think uh, when I bought something, um, sometimes I have a guarantee for some items when the price is expensive. Mm -hmm. But when it's a personal, uh, purchase but when I buy some everything in my work uh, uh, it's the same uh, the suppliers uh, give an offer or warranty about the about that I am buying uh, I remember other other offer 
Okay. It is the <laughs> yeah, is in the July month. Uh -huh. the month of July. Uh, the birthday when you you are at the restaurant. Uh -huh. uh, uh, for example, if you the birthday, the other person is is free. The, hey, the... hey, hey! Today is my birthday, and somebody <laughs> start to sing Happy Birthday to you. Give you a little cake for free. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. but it's the two two dishes, he only pay one dish. <laughs> ah, okay, <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, for for uh, it was. In yeah, uh, it's, it's twenty hours in restaurant. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Try it. Try. It. <laughs> Some restaurants have that offers. For and example, <laughs> Guinness, and I don't remember what. Okay. If I remember, um, I say. Oscar, we are talking about to the question number three. Did the provider offer guarantee in case you were not satisfied with the product? I don't know if oh. something like that happened to you before. No, no, because uh, um, because of the the um. As I mentioned before, I have never, I have never, well, I have never bought something in internet, so I didn't, I don't have that kind of experience. Um, but uh, Carlos, yeah, tell us, uh, it happened to him, uh, in with a pizza hut. He bought a pizza hut and arrived late to his house. And he eat pizza for free. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. That's great. In other case, in but the, it's uh, not great for the deliver. The uh, deliver has to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sure about that, but it, it, it's probably true. But I know. I, in other case, uh, Carlos. The, rest, the restaurant Dennis. Us. Dennis. The, uh, Dennis restaurant. Ah, and Dennis. Uh, <laughs> uh, the last July, uh, he went to Dennis and he said, hey, today is my birthday. So people start to sing to him, happy birthday, and give and just, he pay one dish. One dish. Mm -hmm. Did they, did they well, ask you for your ID to verify if it is true that it was your birthday? Dewey. Uh huh. Your ID, your Dewey. I mean, they yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they. Let me check. It, it's true. Uh huh. Dewey. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, guys. Now you already know. When it is your birthday, go to Dennis restaurant. Go to Dennis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and eat for free. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Don't forget your Dewey, okay? It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We pass to the other one. Uh, Four. Were you skeptical about the quality of the product? You, you uh, have mm. the 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 the, the, the problem. The, yes, yes, warranty, warranty. Warranty uh, about the, uh, the, if, if the provider give you a guarantee about the product if you don't uh, satisfy or satisfy. you uh, can or feel that the product is not correct or not functional is a broke okay uh, in my uh, i i in my case uh, I don't buy the uh, online and uh, uh, sorry <laughs> I I know I don't anchor <laughs> in my case uh, the the provider yes it, it offers me a, a guarantee in case something get uh, broken or have a, a any issue but 
as you know, I had to uh, take it from uh, United States, and they say is sell it, uh, send it to Miami, and then from Miami you send it for, to El Salvador, and so if something uh, were damaged or like that or something like that, I have to resend it from the server to Miami, and then the, from Miami to the provider. It were going to be a a, a great great problem, but uh, thanks to God, it doesn't get nothing damaged. Okay. Do you buy on Amazon? Yes, it was, it ah, was okay. from Amazon. Okay. In my case, uh, I uh, bought something on AliExpress, and in this page, uh, it's not necessary to return the product, and he and they uh, can return the money if you uh, uh, give proofs, or maybe not if it's correct. Uh, you can uh, send proof that the product is broken or uh, not functional or have a problem and they return the money. Uh, 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 I remember uh, when my wife my wife uh, buy the, 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 the product in, in online is I she she guarantee uh, is a return of the money for for time the 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 uh, the the product late go late um, and my wife is return of the money is deposit uh, 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 return the money I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. For example, other other question. Number four, right? Number four, yes. Yes. Were you no. skeptical about the quality of the product you you will recite receive receive? Other person. How do you pronounce receive? Receive. 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 Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what do you I think? Don't, I don't understand. I don't orders understand. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, the uh, meaning of skeptical mm. it's when you expect um, that something or you doubt about the I don't know how to say it um, but that is a good idea is when you doubt for example, when you are not really sure that the product will have a high quality, you don't believe a hundred percent. So you feel like mm, not so confident about it, not pretty sure. That is the meaning of a skeptical. But uh, it is uh, when you wait for the product or when you have a product and you see and is not convincing about about it this is like for example guys think about once when you were buying online right you saw the product and you want to buy it so in that moment when you were about to click and buy it were you skeptical? I mean, were you like very confident that you will receive high quality or were you doubting? Like, I am not sure if I'm going to receive a good product. So how did you feel in that moment? Well, for me, in, when I buy uh, the things for my PC, I at the moment that I 
did click on the button to buy, I was kind of, mm, I hope everything uh, were okay, but it was like two of, or five days after that that I feel like, mm, yeah, and if they were broken or they have any issues, how I, what are I going to do? But everything came okay. So it's okay for me. <laughs> All right. So if you see, in some moments, Ricardo was skeptical, right? Because he started to hesitate. He started to have so many doubts about the quality of the product. So good. That is the meaning of that question. So how about you guys? In my okay. case, maybe is the paying of the price because if it's something cheaper, I don't have a big expectatives. But if the product is a high price, I have a big expectatives about the product. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm sorry. In my case. <laughs> don't think only don't. about online. You can think about when you go to the store. Because remember, guys, imagine that you buy a refrigerator. You go to the store. They can show you the refrigerator. But they are not going to give you the chance like, okay, come turn it on put some water and you can see how the refrigerator works, right? No, you take the refrigerator to your home and in your home, you are going to see if it is going to work or not. So when you buy these kind of things, do you feel skeptical that it's going to work or you are pretty sure that it, was, it will work? What do you think? Or when you buy food, do you feel skeptical that the food will be delicious or not? Or do you feel totally sure that the food will be delicious? And this works with everything, guys. So how do you feel about it? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 the, the last week, week. Mm -hmm. I buy, I I bought, I buy the 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 the, the pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, I don't know, I I don't. Mm, mm. The pupusas, uh, no, no, no was a a, a, a good. Yes, it's it's a so so. <laughs> uh, um, uh, I I. Uh, I uh, because the, the 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 price is no it's it's different for the 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 good I I I I pay much the 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 the, the money for for the the pupusas oh my god is don is don is don is don good and it wasn't good. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, That's very disappointing. Uh, <laughs> don't like, don't, don't I, like I, it, Boris. I don't like. It's so soft. Well, I from I I I have the the other expectative. Mm -hmm. It's a, it, it, I think I think uh, I think was a uh, much very very good for the for the for the price for the the price okay. for the price i i think it uh, was a uh, very very good i, I don't i don't like <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it okay yes all right anyone else uh, any other opinion before go back into the main room okay. no, no. Sure. pretty good 
Okay, guys, let's go back to the main room, okay? Because of the time. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. All right, time's up. Let's go back. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right, time's up. We are going to wait for everyone. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Time's up, everyone. All right, all right. All right, hey everyone. How was the practice? Was it easy to answer the questions or difficult? Uh huh. How was the practice? Instructive opinion. Okay. And you guys? Funny. Funny. <laughs> Actually, I was listening to very interesting stories, right? Okay. Uh huh. Could you answer? All of the questions? Yes, we did in this time. Excellent. Very good. Did your classmate give a lot of details? Some yeah. of them, yes. Okay. Okay. Did you listen to some words in Spanish? Yes, but the name of some places like Pollo Campero, come on, Pizza Hut. Ah, okay. But those, <laughs> but those it, are proper names. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. So everyone, that's the idea. I like the way that you are talking a lot because remember, that's what I need. In this moment, as I mentioned before, in the breakup rooms, you have to feel free to talk, okay? Excellent job. I was listening to some groups. I could listen to everybody participating. That's great. I want to thank guys because some of you are pushing your classmates, right? Like, hey, how about you? Answer, try. So that's what I like. Remember that we have some people that they feel a little shy, right? They are like, no, I, I don't know. But um, I like the way that some of you are trying to motivate your classmate to participate. So that's great. Remember, we are a team. Okay, this is not a race, like I'm going to learn, I'm going to be the only one. No, guys, we are a team. We have to help each other, okay? Now, little details that we need to keep in mind. Uh, let me show you some of the sentences that I listened to. All right, let's see, let's see. Look at the first one. He eat in simple present. Can I say he eat? Eat. eat. Ah, eat is third person. So don't forget, guys, that if it is third person, we need to add a letter S. Okay, he eat. Then I was listening to this word in Spanish. How can I say this in English? Answer. 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 Very good. Answer. Answer. Okay, answer. The product have a problem. Is that correct? Has a problem. Has. Ah, very has. good. Singular. So we need to say the product has a problem. Now, I don't like it, but it's I, in simple past. I didn't like I it. I didn't like it. Ah, didn't. be careful with the auxiliary, please. So we have like to it. say. I didn't, exactly. Yeah. I didn't like it. Pretty good. Now, um, I was listening in many groups, right? Different people were trying to say this word, expectative. Like when you want to say expectativas, right? Ah, I have the expectative. But guys, that is not the word. The correct word is expectation, okay? So you can say, when I buy online, I have some expectations, not expectatives, okay? That is not the word. The correct word is expectation. How can I Thanks. say expectativas? 
Expectation. 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 Exactly. Very good. So nice job. Thank you so much, guys, for trying. You are participating a lot, and that's the idea. Now that you already talk, it's time to think how we can make or what can we do in order to have smart purchase. Remember guys that we were talking about different issues that we can find when we are trying to buy some products. We can have a wrong sizing, we can have issues when we are trying to pay. So can you give me some recommendations in order to avoid those type of issues? What do you think? What can we do? For example, imagine, remember the vocabulary. So, hmm, I want to avoid issues with the inaccurate sizing. So can you give me some recommendations? What can I do before buying? What do you think? Any the idea? best things, the best things that you that you can do is uh, to read the reviews about the people that are buying the same product before uh -huh. that bought the both the same that have bought the same product before because uh, usually they write if the size came in small or bigger than the expected. That's a good, uh, good tip. And that, guys, is related to the questions that you were practicing. Do you usually re uh, read, guys, the reviews before buying or not? Mm -hmm. Yes, because you can have a, a important information about the delivery, if the product uh, are five in the place that is uh, uh, in the place that um, need come uh -huh. need to come and if the size of the product is correct for example um other characteristic that you can found about uh, with the comments about other buyers sounds good excellent so you see guys reading the reviews it's a good idea. Now, imagine that this is my first time buying online, okay? And I'm not pretty sure about this vocabulary. I don't even know that these problems can appear. So can you give me another tip, guys? What else should I do before buying to avoid these issues? Uh-huh. Imagine, I don't even know that I have to pay for the shipping fees. I will have a surprise when I receive the bills. So what do you think? Another tip that I have to consider? If you have any doubt, you can ask the customer service or sales representative to get some help. That's a good one. That's a good idea. Very good. What else? Another one? It's my first time buying online. Can you give me another tip to avoid this kind of inconvenience? Uh-huh, yes, no? Hmm. Like if a trusty seller. Yeah, sure. Okay, can you repeat, Carla? Uh, check and uh, if a trusty seller. Ah, that's a good idea too. Anyone and else? To avoid the problem with, with the side, you can check the measures in the descriptive. Sounds good. Actually, yesterday I was listening to some of your classmates talking about the size you can even check the centimeters, right? That's a yeah. good idea. Okay, now the idea that you are giving me sounds pretty good. So now we are going to work in teams, okay? 
In groups, guys, I wanted to think about some tips that you can provide related to, look at this, how to make smart purchases, all right? Imagine that you are going to give a presentation, all right? And you are going to tell people, you are going to teach people how to make small purchases. So you have to give positive or negative tips about the things that the person should or shouldn't do. And in these tips, guys, I wanted to include tips to avoid uh, keeping fees, inaccurate sizing, misleading product description, uh, payment issues, and poor packaging. So you have to give tips so people can avoid inconvenience. For example, uh, one tip can be, A, you have to read all the descriptions to verify if the product will have a shipping fees or not, okay? You have to read if you have to pay a lot or how much you need to pay for the shipping fees and ta da 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 okay? You are going to be working in groups, so how many tips do I need? Uh huh. Five. Five. If you want to give me more tips, I mean, do it. <laughs> but minimum, I need five. Okay. Then you are going to present the tips here in the class. So listen, I know that some of you are in the computer. I know that some of you are from the cell phone. I'm not asking for a PowerPoint presentation. If you can create it, great. But if you can't, it's all right, don't do it. What I need you guys is you can write the tips in your notebooks. And when we come back here in the main room, you can be able to present it to the class. Because sometimes when we come here to the main room and I ask you, okay, what are the tips? Some of you say, hey, teacher, I don't remember, right? Ah, it, it, my classmate had the information, so I don't know. No, the idea is that everybody in the group can have the information so everybody can be able to present it. Got it? Yes? Yeah. Excellent. Is it clear what you are going to do right now? Is it clear the activity? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to send instructions on WhatsApp's group and we are going to go to the breakup rooms. Again, everybody, enter to the breakup rooms. Please remember that this is the opportunity that you have to speak. This is the moment to practice the language. I don't want to listen to Spanish. All right, so let's try to avoid it, please. If your classmate doesn't remember how to say a specific word, help them, or you can try it in the dictionary too. Now, just let me create the groups. Give me a second. All right, all right. Remember, five tips minimum. If you can give me more, it will be great. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I know that I have some people that they are listeners. I'm going to include you in the teams. But if you are with classmates, guys, or if you're alone and your classmates are not participating, let me know so I can switch you to another team, okay? Are you ready, everybody? Yes? yes. Pretty good. Let's yes. go to work. Okay, let's go to work.
Okay, I was thinking tips. Uh, I, for example, number one. Um, maybe I have, I have I to have. No, I have um account only only uh, purchase online maybe mm -hmm. no no uh, no account um uh, uh, where to pay the salary <laughs> no it's other con account okay do you have two oh. accounts yeah you so your tip will example, be um, use different accounts. No, use one account. Use one account only for shopping online, something like that, right? Mm. That would be the tip. Or, or like have a special uh, account to no. use to shopping online. <laughs> yeah, for example, for example, uh, I don't know. The product the cost is fifty dollar. Okay. okay. In, in in this account, um, maybe to to put a sixty dollar. Mm -hmm. um, there is a hacker, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, What's the money? Is not going only, to only only ten dollars the difference. Okay. For me, it's more security. Yes, mm -hmm. I have heard about. It is the same. <laughs> no, I because know. no, because um, maybe just <laughs> one account is related to debit card to you debit card your debit card. Oh, so yeah, I mean, yes, that happens. Yes, it's more security. I think uh, yeah. only, some banks only... Offer, offer you, offer you uh, to make a virtual card, credit card, debit or credit card, a virtual and only you can use like 10% um, uh, or 5% of what your, what the amount of you really had on your account. Don't forget to write the tips. I don't know. And you're not... oh. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher, for for Thank you for us. the reminder. <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, it's difficult. <laughs> Maybe if review the uh, <sighs> technician specification. I don't know if it's correct. <laughs> I think I had one uh, explore explore alternate alternatives options that might fulfill the same purpose. What do you think? Or compare? Yeah. Uh -huh. Repeat, please. Explore. 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 This. Ah. Uh, and without the R, explore, explore. Alternative. alternative. Yeah. Options. Options. That might. Night. That. that night. Uh, the pass of May. You can you can send the tips in oh. the chat so Lorena can just copy and paste it it will be easier oh, and faster yeah. right to... good ah, tip okay <laughs> that's a good tip <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry Lorena yeah sorry there you go 
Okay, now the tip is in the chat. Very good. Okay. Do you see it? Yes. yes. The same purpose. Okay. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. But my full mm. What else? <laughs> Maybe. Minim minimum five tips. <laughs> I think so. We can do it. Um... The sentence show like read carefully the description of the item. Read all details yeah. about the item. This one, is better. <laughs> this one is better. Okay. Short. Short. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a short <laughs> the advice. Um... Uh, other one. Okay, about the inaccurate sizing. If you go uh on a store club uh, and they don't allow you uh, sizing, uh, maybe maybe it can be the shoe or cloth. Okay, you cannot buy it there. You you can go another place. Ah uh, yes, but is when you go to the brick and mortar. Uh, store, but right. in in e-commerce. No, in commerce it, it is impossible. But but when you buy when you go a store and they don't allow allow you a uh, size in a uh, for example a shoe, okay, you can buy you cannot buy it. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you can go. So you can you can uh, secure. Uh, they allow you a uh, size your product. You can or you want buy it. Mm -hmm. A. Perhaps. And what else? Osman. We need one more. Do you include the uh, one we are talking in the beginning of the session, like uh, think about if you need it or not? No, but we need something. Yes, there is a good tip, but. <laughs> As to yourself, do I really need this item? <laughs> I really yeah, need yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I really That's want it. Question. I really need it. <laughs> I really have the money to buy it. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Okay, about the payment issues, uh, uh, you can you may share uh, you can you may uh, secure uh, they have a credit card system, not only cash. Hi there. Hi, teacher. teacher. All right, I can see a few people in this room. Okay, only two actually. Um, listen, I'm going to switch you guys to another team, okay? Because I can see that you are just two, okay? Okay. Very okay. good. Give me a second, please. Maybe, maybe the case. Mm. Okay, guys, sorry to interrupt you, but I joined uh, Oscar to this team, right? So you can ask him for opinions too. Okay. okay. Hi, Oscar. Uh, let's uh, hear Carlos and then you can share us uh, one tip too. <laughs> 
Maybe. Mm, don't say maybe. You had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, in the case, Andrea, maybe credit card with the connection on the bank. Mm -hmm. And the time, uh, the claim. Maybe credit card. Yes, I think maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, what about Oscar? What about me? About what? What are you talking about? Um, the activity. <laughs> the tips to to uh, to be to make a smart purchase. Um, I don't have tips now. I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm not good at shopping online, so I don't know how to do it. Well, I will share one tip too. Um, check your bank notifications and looking for uh suspicious of charges. That's a Transactions, yeah. How many tips do you have so far? Mm. Five, six, mm, five. Four, five. Four, five. five. Ah, okay, it sounds good. I'm going to check some other teams and if they are ready, we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Um, You can share the tips that you have with Oscar please, so he can write yes, it. Yes, okay. Um, Oscar, uh, the first tip that I had is uh, you have to get... I don't know if perfect the pronunciation. Scaler. Scale. Okay. Yeah. Scale? Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone. Hi, teacher. How Hi, many teacher. tips do you have so far? Ten? Uh, I will write there. He's eight, gone. <laughs> uh, Carlos is gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. But the good thing is that you are taking notes in your notebooks, right? He was writing. He and... wasn't writing. Yes. Yes. Oh my Let's have a backup. <laughs> <laughs> it is always important to have a backup, everyone. But so oh, yeah. far, how many how many tips do you remember? <laughs> oh my goodness. Five. Okay, that's good. Five is enough. Mm. Do you remember the five ones? <laughs> exactly, exactly as the same way we we spoke. No. We, we say it out <laughs> the first time. No, but but you have, I have the idea. idea. <laughs> right. Yeah. The idea. Not at all, but the idea. <laughs> I compare price between the e-commerce stores. Check if the measure of the item you're buying is correct. Mm -hmm. um, so write them, write them down for you for God. For... As for the uh, shipping piece. The... Yeah, this one. Um... <laughs> Do you have one minute to think in the other one? And then we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. One more minute, please. Um, on per price, you will on our sites. Hey, Ma Carlos is the same person, Mauricio. No. Yes. He has issues with the internet. Right. Oh. Please send a picture. He's back. Don't worry. I'm joining to the team. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. He's back. 
I had an internet power uh, outage. Sorry. No problem. Uh, um, I don't know if you said uh, other tips when I was really. here. <laughs> was try to remember the tips that say to you and you write. Um. Okay. The. Let me repeat it. Check okay. your balance before buying. Check the total cost for the shipping fees. Check reviews about the item. Poor package. You can use your own transportation to avoid some hits. Uh, read all details about the item. Check padlock in the URL to have a security, a secure buying. Uh, Time's up. We are going to wait for your classmates. Time's up, everyone. Let's see, let's see. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Time's up, time's up. All right, welcome back. Do you have the tips, everyone? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. A lot of tips, yes? A lot of tips. Excellent. Okay, everybody, let's pay attention. Today, we are going to learn how to make a very smart purchase, okay? So imagine guys that this is a forum, okay? I want you to imagine that you are like in a conference, everybody is going to listen to you and we are going to learn about a smart purchasing, okay? It's all the groups ready? Are all the groups ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Did you copy the tips, everybody? We tried. <laughs> we tried. I hope so. Remember, I, I can ask to everybody. Okay. So everybody has to be ready for it. Okay. Let's pay attention, Imagine, guys, that you are again in a forum, in a huge conference. Um, let me let me share with you something. You give me a second. Uh, um, okay. Um, can you see what I'm sharing? Yes. No, not really. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, no. How about now? No. No. Nothing. Oh my gosh. Not yet. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Somebody is hacking me. I don't know who. <laughs> the listener. Ah, the listeners are the ones. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Um, there it is. I don't know if you can see it now. Yes? No? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So welcome, everybody, to our first forum about a smart purchasing online so we are going to have different people who is going to give you tips in order that you can avoid different issues like um inaccurate uh, sizing shipping fees they are going to give you tips in order to avoid some issues when you are trying to uh pay okay so different tips in order to have you a good and smart purchase. So pay attention, please, to our uh, speakers tonight. We are going to start with the team number one. And in the team number one, we have uh, Edwin 
Postman, Atilio, Sifrido, and Wilbur, and Carlos, right? Carlos Mauricio. Yes? Yep. Okay, so um, let me start, guys. Let me present the first tip. The first tip will be presented by Carlos. Carlos, can you give us the first tip to have a very smart purchase online? And claps. Hey, the audience clap. Prayers. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, look at the products in different sellers or e-commerce. What do you mean? To compare? Exactly. Compare the product in different uh, sites. Ah, that's uh, awesome. Or if you are in the in a specific site, maybe eBay, and if you want to buy maybe a balloon, for example, and oh. you can check the different prices in the different sellers and choose the better to the better to you. The best to you. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good. All right. How about Edwin? What do you think? Do you have another tip for us? So pay attention to him. So to make a, a smart a buy. Yeah. Uh, this could be when the supplier has an offer. Okay, sounds good, sounds good, very good. Then um, another speaker, Hosman, what do you think? Give us another smart tip for a smart purchase. For example, the tip is a company that price and the offer the different company the products and the finite why with uh, what company is ma ma major offer either uh either for the tips the major buy mm -hmm. that's good sounds good okay Cipriano, <laughs> tell us another tip i have another one read carefully the details of the item mm -hmm. Why? Why do I need to read carefully? Uh, maybe the seller made a mistake, um, posted a different item, and you can see the details are corresponded to this item in the description of the product. Nice. Thank you. And Wilbur, how about you? Tell us a detail, a smart tip. Uh, about the poor packaging, if the company has, uh, if you don't trust in the packaging, you can make your own um, transportation by yourself. Uh, so you can uh, avoid any crash, any, any hit. Mm, sounds good. Okay, those were the tips from the team number one. So everybody, this is the moment. Do you have some questions for our speakers? Questions, questions? Are you sure? All right, okay, if you don't have questions, that was the team number one. Thank you, team number one. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. And and sorry, I'm trying to share the, the picture. <laughs> okay, that was the team number one. Remember, guys, we are in this bottom in order to learn how to make a smart, a very smart purchase. Let's continue. Okay, we have some other groups that they are going to continue explaining us this topic. Let's continue with the team number two. In the team number two, we have Ana Lorena, we have Boris Alexander, Nelson Alberto, Osman Enrique, and Ricardo Ernesto. So let's start with, of course, ladies first. Ana Lorena, tell us, do you have some Hello, tips for teacher. us? Okay, uh, uh, good tips. 
is review the technical the technical specification of the product because this uh, characteristic variety uh, is depend of the the country for example the connector of your cell phone in China is different that uh, in El Salvador. For this reason, it's important that you can check the uh, technical specification about the product. Mm, okay, sounds interesting. Thank you. Boris, how about you? Tell us, pay attention to him, everyone. Uh, read the, the review the, the other people when you go to buy online. Mm, okay, yes, that sounds like a good tip too. Thank you, Boris. Now let's listen to Nelson. Aha, uh -huh, Nelson, tell us. I forget the tips. <laughs> Sorry. You are, you are in front of everybody. Don't yeah. I will ask you. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, personally, uh, for me, it's important uh, a tip uh, that we can uh, buy in. Um, let me see. We need to buy in. Uh, early or during the day because uh, in some cases uh, when you purchase something uh, fa this fails and and the website say said you need to check with the bank mm -hmm. uh, if you purchase at night the bank is closed and the support uh, is not good and oh, for this case mm -hmm. uh, it's my opinion Okay, that sounds good. Thanks for the tip. And Ricardo, how about you? Tell us. Hi, everybody. I think a good uh, I, a good tip would be look for free shipping because uh, we want to avoid shipping fees, right? So it will be a very good uh, tip to say it. many online retailers offer free shipping on orders of, uh, over a certain amount. So Mm, free shipping will be a good uh, tip. Mm? Definitely. That's nice. And Osman Enrique, how about you? What is the tip that you have for us? Okay, teacher, I have a short tip. Uh, if, if, if we want to avoid uh, payment issues, we have to, we need to check the credit card is active. Also, uh, we need to check if a credit card has balance. Mm, okay, pretty That's good. All. all right, excellent. Thank you, team. Now, the audience, do you have questions for them? I think that today we have a kind of shy audience. They don't want to ask. All right, thank you, team. Very good, very good. The audience is totally happy with our speakers. They are giving us smart tips. So don't go, everyone. Let's continue. We have more tips for you. So now let's continue with our third group. They have more tips in order, guys, that you can learn how to make smart for chains. Let's see, team number three, we have Andrea, we have Carlos Ernesto, Kevin Alexander, and Oscar Alexis. So let's receive and start our first speaker, ladies first. Andrea, go ahead, tell us. Okay, thank you. Um, um, one of my classmates said that um, one thing uh, that he can um, provide us was that you can have two accounts, uh, two bank accounts, one with you, all your money, and the second one you can use it just for purchase, purchase online. And you have to uh, have uh, just the amount of money that you're gonna spend. 
Ah, oh, very good. Thank you. And she is using reported speech. So that's extra credit for the tip. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to our next um, uh, speaker, Carlos Ernesto. Teach us, please. Give us another mm. tip. Okay. Um, with respect the idea, uh, I think do you use the other account. For example, no, don't uh, no use the account where they pay the salary. It's not the other account uh, because uh, the operation, uh, malicious the operation or hacker, I don't know. <laughs> uh, for example, the product uh, we uh, we talk about in the in the team. For example, uh, the product the cost fifty dollar. They put in the count um, sixty, but mm -hmm. um, they left the difference ten dollars only. Ah, maybe good, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Excellent. And how about you, Kevin? What tip do you have for us? Um, you can hear me. Yes, we can. Go ahead. Okay. Um... <laughs> the audience is um, expecting. One of the tips that we shared was uh, to, to, to check uh, your bank account, your bank notifications, looking for suspicious, suspicious transactions, like things that you you didn't didn't buy or 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 charges that are from websites or have concepts that are you that you don't recognize. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Kevin. And the last but not least, uh, Mr. Oscar Lara. Oscar, what is the tip that you have for us? An old teacher. <laughs> you are in front of the audience. Invent yes, something. Know. Let's check attendance, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that is the tip for a smartphone. No, 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 no. Um, well, I remember that tip. Uh, maybe uh, Amanda Ye already no. Sorry, maybe Andrea already said it, but I think it's a good tip to have two accounts. Because let's imagine that you that you buy something and suddenly you start receiving a, a lot of purchases in your car credit. Mm -hmm. And maybe you you see that and you get afraid because it's money that you waste. And the tip is good because if you have two accounts, you can go. Uh, you can go and call uh, to the bank and say, hey, I need you to freeze my account and and look for what is happening with my with my money. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, team number three. Now the audience, do you have questions for them? No, no? All right, I think that all the tips were completely clear and easy to understand. Thank you, Tim, and thanks for everyone for being here and paying attention to our forum. See you in the next one, and I hope to all of you start making the smart purchases. Very good, that's the end. Okay, pretty good, everyone. Nice tips, I liked it. So remember everyone, let's imagine, I know that we are online, but let's try to imagine what happens if suddenly you need to give a speech, you need to explain something in English. Do you think that you can do it? Will you be able to do that? Word by word. But do it, right? I mean, and the rest of you, do you think that you will be able to do that? I hope so. Okay, and the rest?
Yes, we can do it. Could be. That's the attitude. Confidence, everyone. Just imagine, we never know in your job, your boss or your supervisor can say, ah, okay, so Carlos, you are studying English, right? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, perfect. I need to explain this and this to the customer. Okay, they don't speak Spanish. So you have to be able to do it. And you can do it, everyone. Okay, maybe not perfectly because sometimes because of the nervous, but you can. All right. Excellent. Now, before the last practice for today, as Mr. Oscar Lara said, I need to check attendance. <laughs> so let's do it. When you listen to your name, everybody say present, please. Um, Amanda Zamora. Present. Thank you. Ana Lorena. Present, teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. All right, thanks. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Jose Salvador Bernal. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. All right. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenzo. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Okay, Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. All right. Pamela Carolina Molina. Rafael Alexander Serna. All right. Thanks. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present. Thanks. Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. All right. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. Thank you. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Very good. Teacher present. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. So, guys, we have been practicing the reported speech. So, before leaving, it's time for an exam. You ready? Yes, teacher, we are ready. Sure. Yeah, but it's late. <laughs> yeah, sure. We don't have enough time. Ah. Sure, we did that. Excuses. Come on. What about if we do the exam in teams? Would you like it? Yes, yeah, why not? Sure, of course. All right, let's do it. It's pretty simple, everyone. I just want to see if we remember the topic. Okay. Uh, we have been and we are going to be practicing reported speech until we are masters, okay? Look at the first one. Can you see the sentence? You just have to choose the correct. Yes. I'm really tired. So she said that she is, she has been, or she was really tired. She was. She was. She was really tired. tired. Are you sure? Definitely. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Yes. All right. At the end of the exercise, we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Okay? Okay. Number two, volunteer for reading, please. I don't want any trouble. He told me he any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, what do you think? He told me he... He didn't want any trouble. Letter A. He didn't want, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. why not? Extra yeah. homework if you have a mistake. Not. It's correct. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. move on. Number three, volunteer for reading. I'll be at home all afternoon. Uh-huh. Um, she said, 
He said she'd be at home all afternoon. All right. In this case, guys, if we said the letter B, that is the would. contraction of would. 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 Okay? Yeah. If you use been, that is the contraction of had. Been. Okay? So, what is the correct option? B or D or A? Literal B. 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 Are you sure? Yes. yes. Right. Hmm, yeah. Okay, I hope so. I hope so. Number four. What do you think? I love my family. He told Always. me. Always. Uh-huh. He told me that. He told me that he loves his, love his family. He, he, he loves his family. Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Okay. Number five. Now, I will help you with the number five because we haven't seen the present perfect. Okay. But if you have a sentence in present perfect, the structure is the same. You are going to report it. What do you think? In past perfect? Past perfect. In the present perfect or in the simple past? Past perfect. Past perfect. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Uh, next. We have 10 sentences, okay? Volunteer for reading? You have my phone. Mm -hmm. that the men say that. The man said that I... Let, let us see. Had his phone. I had his phone. That I had his phone. I, I had his I phone. Had. Yes. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We are going to see it at the end. Number seven. I'm trying to concentrate. Mm -hmm. She said that she was trying. She was trying. To concentrate. She say that she was there an A. Are you sure? Yeah, yes. if yeah. it is not extra work. <laughs> <laughs> the homework will help us to practice. Okay. Yeah, I think that extra homework will be fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> it will be one extra homework per mistake. So if you have three mistakes, three extra homeworks. Number <laughs> eight. Oh. What do you think, guys? Volunteer for reading the number eight, please. I didn't steal any money. Mm -hmm. The thief said that he... He, 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 he... Uh, he hasn't stolen. Hasn't stolen? Hasn't? Yes. Hasn't. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm listening to no. options. Some people say hasn't, some people say hadn't. So which one? A or C? Letter A. A. Hasn't. 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 It is hasn't. I know. Hasn't. So. Hasn't. hasn't. Are you sure? Hasn't? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Number nine. I can lend you the money. She told me she. He could lend. Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Are you sure? Land. Good yes. 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 All right. The last one. I won't call you again. She told me she uh wouldn't call you again. Uh, wouldn't call you? Or wouldn't call me? Uh, call, me. Call, me. call me. Call me. Call me. Yeah. Okay. So those are the answers. Are you sure that they are correct or would you like to change any? No. It's correct. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's check your answers. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, look at this one. 90%. There is one sentence. And Eight. some of you said number the nine. correct answer, but you didn't listen to Eight. it. Number nine. It's the number eight. Remember, uh, guys, if I have a sentence uh, uh, in full yeah. past, I need to report it. If back. In, yes, yeah. in the past, perfect. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Okay, but we are going to have more practice about it. I'm going to think about what kind of homework I can give it to you. All right? 
Now, before leaving, as always, there is a winner. And the winner for today is, well, I'm going to omit some people because they are always listeners, okay? So we have, um, let's see, let's see, give me a second. Don't go, everyone, please. Um, Josman Atilio. Hello, Josman. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Uh, I have I had a problem the connection because it's raining, and tomorrow. Okay, but can you stay? Just five minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, everybody, you are free to go. Have a beautiful night. Work on the platform, please, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good, night. Good night. All right. Osman, I know that you have issues with the connections. Don't worry. We are going to be brief. Okay? Okay, teacher. So how are you today? Um, fine, teacher. Very good. Great. Excellent. So remember that the purpose for this little meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have. So how do you feel the topic so far? Uh, in this moment, I'm following the, the, the research, the process. Of, uh, I have a problem. I was a problem that the connection mm -hmm. that last week, because more time in my job, Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm no connection in the, all the class. I am problem and um, the typical structure the 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 last the last uh, the last the tema topic the topic that the fish the fish um because I'm reviewed the class and um, for women no no exactly the 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 they identify the problem and similar the the, the structure the grammar okay okay um, and review the class um, and for the um the actually the 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 thing that the, the tema the topic is, the topic yeah right is this is my problem in this moment and um, there's a problem on the in the platform and your declaration the 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 typical the typical is uh resolve the problem right. um, because yeah because i have some difficult the new the start the in this new mm -hmm. and other situation is the that um uh, i'm sorry the, 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 um, the guys is other nivel. <laughs> I I different situation this moment. And some of them. Advanced, some of them. Yeah, and I advanced the the typical and new vocabulary, and this is this is starting the other situation the nivel. I know. Remember that every ne every new level has new challenges, right? I know that you had. Um, difficulties in the first weeks, right? To I I saw that you were sometimes listeners, so I know that you didn't pay so much attention in some of the topics, and that's the reason why you can feel that some of the structure in grammar is difficult. So it is good idea to review the classes. So try to do it uh, in your free time. And remember that during this week we are going to continue practicing that structure, so you can feel it that. A little easier, okay? Yeah, teacher, thank you. Yes, I can see that you have been working on the platform, so that's a good feedback for you. Thank you, that's excellent. Keep go, uh, keep working on it. If you find some exercises that you don't know how to do it, just take a screenshot and send it in the uh, in the group, okay? okay? And during the class, I will try to help you with this. Um, according to the, uh, what you said about some of your classmates, they speak more or they are like in a higher level. Uh, I don't want you to feel disappointed, okay? 
at the contrary, okay? You can try to learn from them. Remember that the idea is that all of us, we can help each other. We are a team. So don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? Si de repente mm -hmm. le toca estar en el breakup room con algunos de sus compañeros y usted siente que hey, ellos hablan más, right? Así que mejor, mejor no hablo, mejor ahí los dejo. No, al contrario, right? Yeah. Trate de hablar más porque si vemos compañeros que pueden un poquito más, ellos nos pueden ayudar, ¿ok? Es yeah. como, hey, no sé cómo decirlo, así que ayúdenme, right? Así que en lugar de quedarnos caíditos, al contrario, es cuando más tenemos que hablar y nos ayudamos mutuamente, ¿ok? Perfecto, yeah, sí, sí, sí. Very okay. good. Uh, yeah. Any other comment or questions that you may have? No, for women, stand by. Excellent, pretty good. Okay, okay, thanks for staying, Hosman. You are doing a great job, so keep going, okay? Okay. Pretty Thank good. You, okay, good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you.